from the Period 8 class. I'm Jack. And I'm Lauren. We have an excellent show for you today with stories ranging from the newest tea trends to fantasy football. Let's get to it. We're also going to talk to you about the Media Center Awards. Good, Good morning, morning Staples! There may not have been any paparazzis or red carpet, but last June, Staples students put their creativity on display at the Media Center Video Awards. Let's see what Michael Thibodeau got on the story. Although the Media Center Awards may not be the Oscars, students still have a chance to win an award for their hard work. Some of the projects submitted were called Words Kill, A Climate Change PSA, and How Consumerism Killed the Hipster. They are still accepting entries. Uh, the idea is that we want to reward people who have done a great job with multimedia projects and we have just finally as of yesterday decided who are the two award winners and we have uh, three semi-finalists, uh, three honorable mentions and we'll, we will be making those announcements next week. Jose Hernandez, Michael Thibodeau for Good Morning Staples. My portfolio is killing it right now. Oh hey. Wall Street may be two hours away, but some Staples students are bringing the financial world right here in Westport. Noah Lamins has more on the story. I was thinking about how I was doing investing in my own life, and I decided I wanted to create a club to try to bring that to Staples. And then while I was creating the club, I decided I was trying to figure out what name I wanted to call it, and what came to mind at first was calling it the ABCs of the Stock Market Club for the basics of the ABCs like correlation. Um, and then I decided to connect it actually to the ABC house here in Westport um, and try to connect sort of a more philanthropic approach to investing in business. Can you elaborate on how your club benefits the ABC house? So what we do is we uh, invest in this online simulation through this app called Market Watch. Uh, and then throughout the year, we get um, sponsors for the club who donate $2 for every $1,000 of virtual money. How have the stock market teachings been showing up in the simulation? So team members take what they learn from just meetings or guest speakers coming in, stuff they learn on their own, and they try to apply as much as they can to the actual simulation so that they can try to practice what they're actually learning. Um, some people actually did really well and like, Last year, no Lamans, he came in first um, by a few thousand dollars. Um, and then there's some that don't do well, like Gabe Leiter, who lost the most. Out. 
I've learned a lot about the stock market and I feel like I'm doing a good thing because of the ABC house. Have you set your fantasy football team lineups yet? Ethan Bosper talked to the Staples students who are diehard fans and saw how their teams are faring this far in the season. <laughs> Arizona's abandoned the run. It's been no huddle and throw and what a hit across the middle. By fantasy football has become hugely popular with Staples students during the NFL season. We decided to interview students and faculty to investigate what attracts them to this. First, we asked students what they liked about playing fantasy football. Well, you know, football Sunday on its own is a great time, you know, watching your favorite team on the field. And then when you add the factor of fantasy on it, with, with money in the league and all your friends, high competition, it's really just a great time and makes you look even more forward to Sundays. I decided to see if students and faculty felt as though fantasy football was a distraction during the school year. I would probably say that fantasy football is not a distraction. It is the most awesome thing that has ever been created and I think it brings the community together. Well, I think it depends on the student, um, who can manage their work and who they can't. And I would say, of course, it's a distraction, um, but there are a lot of distractions in the world and if fantasy football is your distraction, some interesting responses. Whether good or bad, kids are still going to be playing fantasy football tomorrow. This is Ethan Vosper for Stables TV. A new health trend has been taking Westport by storm. It's called kombucha. Ain Riley talked with Staples student and store owner Aisha Sophia about this cool new health trend. Do you know what kombucha tea is? No. No. <laughs> no, I do not know what kombucha tea is. This sounds foreign. No. 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 It's not the stuff made out of rotten fruit. Yeah, that's disgusting. But not to everybody. According to some healthy foodies, the kombucha trend is taking over the nation. We met up with Aisha, a student here at Staples who opened up her own kombucha store in downtown Westport. It's called Barbucha, kombucha on tap. For those of you who don't know, kombucha is a sparkling drink that is naturally fermented, um, made from black tea and different fruit and herb essences, uh, just like a soda or a juice. It comes in a variety of different flavors, um, but it is almost sugar-free. Even if to you it doesn't taste very good, but to somebody else it might, it's still going to have that sort of um, cleansing, I'm trying to think of the um, almost astringent quality to it, like it's drawing out the impurities of, of your guts. Um, given that I've been drinking it for so long, I noticed that in Westport particularly, there was a demand for a place that acted as like a one-stop spot for the drink. Right now, um, I'm looking to open by November 1st. That's my set opening date. Um, hopefully I can make it. There's a lot of things um, coming into place with construction and renovation on the space that have made it take a little longer than I would have liked, but um, I'm on track to have it set for November 1st, and I'm really excited. The kombucha tea trend sounds pretty good, but I think I'm just gonna stick to real fruit. And for good morning, stay for I'm Aiden Riley. That tea stuff looks pretty cool. I think I want to try it. I think I'll just stick to milkshakes. <laughs> all right, all right. That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time on Good Morning Staples. Bye.